Now we shall do a dramatic reading. This book is called Little Rooster's Diamond Button, retold from an old fairy folktale by Margaret Reed McDonald and illustrated by Will Terry. And thank you very much to Albert Whitman and company for allowing us to read this book and share it with you all. Are you prepared? Little Rooster's Diamond Button. Somewhere, someplace, across the seven seas, there lived a little old woman and her pet rooster. One day, little rooster went to peck out something to eat. He pecked and he pecked and he pecked up a diamond button. cock a doodle doo cock a doodle doo I'll take this home to my good mistress. She likes diamond buttons. We're gonna cock a doodle doo a lot, so be prepared. But here came the king with his servants. The king wore such baggy trousers that he could hardly walk. When the king saw the diamond button, he wanted it. Take that diamond button, put it in my treasure chamber. Little rooster flew right to the king's palace. Cock-a-doodle-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo, give me back my diamond button. The king was mad. Throw that little rooster into the well, get rid of him. They threw little rooster into a well, but little rooster had a magic stomach. Come my empty stomach, come my empty stomach, drink up all the water in the well. His magic stomach drank up all the water in the well. Little rooster flew right back to the king's palace and said, cock-a-doodle-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo, give me back my diamond button. The king was angry. Throw that little rooster into the fire, get rid of him. But little rooster just called out, come my full stomach, come my full stomach, spit out all the water from the well and put out the fire. Little rooster flew right back to the king's palace. Cock-a-doodle-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo, give me back my diamond button. The king was furious. Throw that little rooster into a beehive, let the bees sting him. But, come my empty stomach, come my empty stomach, eat up all the bees. His stomach ate up all the bees. Bzzz. But the bees could not sting his magic stomach. Little rooster flew right back to the king's palace. cock a doodle doo cock a doodle doo give me back my diamond button. The king was infuriated. What should I do with this little rooster? Hang him from a tree, said the first servant. Toss him out the window, said the second servant. But the third servant said, why don't you sit on him and squash him? I like that idea, said the king. Drop him into my baggy pants. I am going to sit on him. So they dropped little rooster into the king's baggy pants and the king started to sit on him. But little rooster called out, come my full stomach, come my full stomach. Spit out all the bees and let them sting that king. Ay, 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 those bees did sting. Take that little rooster away, cried the king. Let him have his old diamond button. I never want to see him again. They took the little rooster to the king's treasure chamber. Take your diamond button and go along home. As they left, er, and they left the little rooster all alone. So this is the treasure the king has been stealing from my village all these years, said the little rooster. Well then, what do you think he's gonna do? Come my empty stomach, come my empty stomach, eat up all the treasure in the king's treasure chamber. His stomach ate up all the rubies, all the emeralds, all the gold and silver, all the diamonds, and the diamond button too. Then he went along home. There was treasure enough for all the village. And the little rooster and his good mistress lived richly and happily ever after. The end. That story is from a Turkish folktale. And this was just a uh, retelling of it that somebody did with great illustrations.